Hello, hello and welcome. Um, hello Joanna, nice to see you this evening. Excuse my gloves, it's just insanely cold here this evening. Um, it feels like a long time since I've been live. Um, obviously I went to Vienna a couple of weeks ago, I had the most amazing time and then managed to pick up um, Covid, sadly. So I've been out for last week, um, I'm back, I'm all good, um, just a bit of a kind of sniffle. Um, but I just thought, look, I'd share some pretty papers um, while I'm kind of getting going, while everybody logs on. Um, so I thought I was going to, last week I was going to go through all my swaps. Um, and I still want to do that, but I'm not going to do that tonight. I might do a video. I might actually record just a YouTube video um, next week. I thought we'd have a play. Hey, Amory. Hey, Louise. Nice to see you this evening. Um, again, Louise, uh, I went out. I went out today um, for. Um, I just went out. All I went out for was to plan my classes for next um, year at the Maker's House, and I got invited to stay for lunch. And I've had the most wonderful. Hello, Lisa. Thanksgiving lunch today. Uh, it was amazing. Good food. Good company. And um, yeah, uh, brilliant. Brilliant morning, afternoon. So, um, and then I came back and had to tidy up. So chores had to come. But yeah, I thought because my PPP arrived, I thought I'd share some pretty new things with you. And then I thought we'd recreate one of my favourite swaps. Um, oh, I had lots of favourite swaps, but one that I thought, oh, that would make a good um, a good card to do. So I received this swap from Jill one of the two big girls crafting, Jill Moore, and I thought we could recreate this using these pretty papers and the By the Bay bundle. It was, it was Louise, it was incredible, um, have, uh, totally unexpected, um, and a really, really nice, really nice day, yep. So yes, I thought we'd recreate that, so I'll, I'll just dig in. Hey Anita, hey Claire. I'll dig into my box, I'll get everything out, we'll have a bit of a look, see, and then we'll get creating this card. I haven't I haven't planned it, I haven't even really looked at the measurements, but we'll kind of, we'll wing it, shall we? So this is the By the Bay, this is the By the Bay, one of my favourite things I saw from on stage. Excuse that light there, let's do that. Hello Carol, hey Fiona, nice to see you this evening. And this is the one that I'm going to play with in a bit. So once I get this out, I'll pop it to one side and have a look. But yeah, these papers are absolutely stunning. So you get the backside. Probably shouldn't say that word live on YouTube. But yeah, you get this backside of papers. Really pretty. Some gorgeous, gorgeous colours. That bird is awesome. Love that. This one will make a really nice scene. Oh, you've got to craft along with me. That's brilliant. Have you got much planned, much crafting? And this one would make a really good scene as well. And you've got some natural woods, just some textures, some waves. Beautiful, beautiful um, patterns on that one. And then these elements which you can use or cut out. And then on the other side, you've got all the pearlescent papers now these are coming up in the January to April so we've got a little bit of a while to wait if you're a customer not long though just about a month um, first of all that's going to be happening is the last chance sale so I've got a list of loads of retired stuff it's all going to be about 60% off it's some phenomenal deals um, so I'm popping an order in on the first if anybody wants to jump on the bandwagon with my workshop order um, and I shall be ordering as soon as I can on the first look at that Stunning, isn't it? Ah, hello, Katie. Nice to see you this evening. Yes, the iridescence, iridescence it's a hard word to say, isn't it? Iridescence on those is stunning. So I'll put those to one side because we're going to use those in a bit. And then obviously you get these stamp set. And the little bird, this looks like a sandpiper. So that's how I've coloured it in. I know it's only five weeks to wait until all of this is live. Um, but yes, the last chance sale list is coming first. So um, if you want the list, give me a shout. I have, we'll post it on my Facebook page. I think it's already on my Facebook Facebook page, but loads up to 60% off. And love these sentiments. I think that's a really nice set, that one. And with that comes some dies, which have already been out and used and played with. 
love this one. So this creates like this little, and I've inked this and put some, um, ah, hello Lynn, nice to see you this evening. So I've inked this and put some gilding flakes around the edge and then I've opened it up and stamped the sentiment on the inside. You're a pearl, rare and precious. So I thought that was quite cool. I am feeling better, thank you, Katie. I'm still not 100%. I've still got this horrible cold, which I can't seem to shake, but, you know. And I've got all these little elements um, that cut out. So I've cut some of these out in foil for when we have a little play later. Let me see that can there we go. A little bit of embossing on. Um, you get these little grassies and then everything that cuts out all the shapes in the sunset. And this one as well to create like that seam, which is quite cool. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah, it's just, um, like, I just thought, oh, that could open up. And rather than you get a little pearl as well, you could put a pearl inside. I don't have the embellishments. I'm quite upset. I don't have the embellishments to go with this. They weren't on the PPP sheet, so I didn't order them. But I have since seen some demonstrators have got them. So I'm a little bit jealous, might be the word. And then you get this ribbon with the sweet as well. Now, the stamp, I'm doing a stamp camp with this one in February. So if anybody who buys this whole suite from me gets access to the stamp camp for free, make and takes, so 13 make and take ideas, well, and the, and the kind of the card and all the materials to make the make and takes. This is beautiful and soft and subtle, lovely ombre effect, if you can just about see that. Um, so yeah, if you love this, but think, I don't know what I'd make with it, Grab it, join the stamp camp, um, you get the blog post, you get all the instructions, videos, PDFs, everything to go with it. So loads of ideas. And then this, this is possibly one of my favourite. It's um, it's not, is it a seam binding ribbon? It doesn't say, it just says variegated, but it is really, really soft. It's almost like the feel of the seam binding, yes. Love that. And then, this is one of my favourite things. I'm going to have to get some more already. The catalogue does not do this justice. So if you've seen the shimmer paper in the catalogue, those demonstrators who have already got them, I know my customers won't have their catalogues yet. As soon as I get them, I'll give them to you. But how pretty is that? Oh, I love it. And it's just, it's really smooth. It's not, a, it's not like a coarse really smart. I don't know how they do it but it's stunning I love it and then that's like a gold and then that's a fresh freezer kind of purple I can eat it it's so pretty um and then what, what else have we got so we've got some celebration sets because obviously come January it's celebration um oh these are quite cool these are the alphabet a la mode i don't know what that means alphabet a la mode very posh but lovely for scrapbooking you get double letters in there so there's doubles of quite a lot the a's the i's the e's the n's are yeah the two t's really slim which is good because you can get a full word on yeah, they're a nice size. A la mode can mean with ice cream. <laughs> a la mode. Isn't it like fashionable a la mode in French? Is that not what it means? Fashionable? I remember from my French days. So we've got those. What else have we got? Oh, this one. This is nice. So I've had a bit of a play with this set. So it's a, like a double... A double set so you get two stamp sets um this one kind of layers over they layer over beautifully and then this is the sentiment kind of sentiment set to go with it and then we've got some dies somewhere I'm wondering if I've already put them away. Yes, here we go. Two tone flora and something fancy. So this is the oh, this is the two tone flora. So you get all the elements to cut out all of those flowers and shapes, 
we get a little sentiment. Um, oh, no, that comes out of that one, I think. Mm. And you get this gorgeous one. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm going to show you something in a minute that I've made with this um, bundle already. Because I couldn't resist having a play. And then the other one, the Something Fancy dies, are like... Um, so that one goes with that. And then this one goes with this one. I'm sure this black die comes out of this set. And you get all these labels. Yeah, that goes in there. So you get all these labels and then these little, um, that will go in the top here to cut out like little holes and little shapes in your bits and bobs there. And you've got these labels that cut out these sentiments. And they fit these perfectly. And then that suite comes with ribbon. Oh, that's where the shimmer paper comes with, I think. I think the shimmer paper comes in that whole suite as well as this gorgeous ribbon. This is like a pool party gross grain. Pool party gross grain ribbon, which is stunning. I saw somebody color this as well, which looks really pretty. And then I, in my card, I actually cut it in half, like lengthways, because I wanted a thin bow. Sometimes um, ribbon can be really thick. So I learned not too long ago that you can actually just cut it in half. And that looks really cool. And then that one comes with this paper. I'm just going to do a little flick. Hello, Mary. Nice to see you this evening. Hope you are keeping well. Oh, isn't that beautiful, that paper? I mean, it's quite busy. They're quite busy backgrounds, but some really gorgeous colours. Some more neutral ones, that's like that really neutral. I mean, you wouldn't need to do much else with this one. Just literally use it as is, add, you know, maybe a panel with a sentiment and a few flowers on, job done. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty. And with that sweet, I made this. So it's just a pretty little box. And these are flirty flamingo flowers. They look a bit um, faded in this light. Um, Love that sentiment. I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. <laughs> oh, I could use that a lot. And then I forgot to punch the little notches in, sadly. So it's a bit tricky to open. And this gorgeous card. And that's using that same die in the background. That's just with the shimmer paper. And that's just natural. And then I've used the shimmer paper just for these little leaves, which come from a different set. But I love, look at how... Let me see it better here, actually, how that two-tone, that's why it's called the two-tone flora. Stamp one in lighter and then one in darker on the top of it. Yeah, I thought that was pretty. And that's the ribbon cut in half. So it just makes it like a little bow rather than a quite a big. I think sometimes the big bows can be a bit heavy for a delicate card like that. Kept me busy yesterday. Yeah, peach and turquoise. Thank you, Anita. We also got given this one at on stage. I got given another couple actually at on stage. I wonder what I've done with them. I think I've probably put them away already. I'll have a look. Um, a quick little look, see if I can find them. They've been used and put on my shelf. But yeah, this one's quite cool. Hand-drawn dots. It's a big, big um, like background stamp. So that's quite cool. I still enjoy playing with that one. I think that would look really good with the emboss resist technique. So stamp it in Versamark, clear embossing powder, and then ink over the top. I think that would look really cool. And then we've got Dainty Delight. Just have a look at that one for a second. That was one of the other ones we got. I'll show you that one in a minute. So I love these little flowers. As it says, dainty delight, so dainty. 
gorgeous sentiments love this font the best is yet to come that's a red rubber one so these all need making up and then that comes with its own set of dies as well all those love love this flower and then you get the half flower as well some little bits and bobs and then you've got the ones that cut out these oh louise i can certainly give you a lesson I can give everybody a lesson now, actually. I've actually got a video on my YouTube channel, but these are so straightforward. You literally just grab the thing, the kind of um, sheets here. You've got this one where it's got a split. One side is like matte and the other side is shiny. You've got this split. This is how I do it anyway. Peel off both sides of this split paper. Pop out your stamp. Take off this backing. That's the that's where most people go wrong, bless them, is they don't take off this backing of the stamp. So take that off. And then it's just like a jigsaw, like, and you just lay it down. I've probably chosen one of the hardest ones to do on camera with freezing cold hands. And I just start at one end and I'm just holding it up here and placing it down there. And then little bit by little bit, popping it down. And then lift the whole thing up and you've got your image on your red rubber stamp there. And you just go through and do the whole sheet. And that is as easy as that. And then once you've got them all out, you can put them all on the case like this. So from this side, you can see what you've got. But obviously, because I've just done one, I need to pop it back in like this. And I'm, ter I'm terrible for just doing like one or two in a set, that the ones that I use and not doing them all. So yeah, those are the dies that go with that set beautiful you'll still go on wonky it's yeah i i think the technique the, the trick is just to do one one little edge at a time and hold the other end up and then gently put lay it down as you go that would be my biggest tip and then we got given this one the beautifully happy um i have used this i wonder what i've done with the card i made There we go. I made that card. I coloured that in with my stamping blends. It's got some ribbon underneath. A little bit of blending on the background. Ah, Mary, practice. You don't want to know how many stamp sets I've done. Too many, I would suggest. But I thought this was really cool. This is a celebration set as well. So this will be free with a £90 purchase. So I think that's a really, really nice one. Ah, thank you. Purple, a lovely purple card. And then we've got some more celebration. I treated myself some dyes in the sale as well that we had. So I've got the brush shapes, beautiful shapes and delicate edges. Um, we've got one more stamp set. Oh yes. We got given this one too, which is lovely. And I used this on this card that I made, um, using it as a background stamp in here. And then again, my blends. Oh, you know I love my blends. And there is another blends course coming up. I hate advertising it like, but you know, I have to, I have to. Um, so available worldwide. Uh, starting in February so if anybody is interested you know shout I can send you the details but this is a lovely photopolymer stamp set fabulous for colouring in all these little images or just stamping them straight down as some kind of background stamps as well so many many choices with that one. Oh, these pastel gems as well they came with the sweet for the with that with that gorgeous paper with that paper K 
became those gems. Gorgeous. And I treated myself to a new embossing folder as well in the sale. So I'm looking forward to using that one actually. Eucalyptus. And then we've got some celebration. So I've got some adorable owls. I'm going to enjoy creating these. I can see this on a, like a long slim line card with the three owls lined up. Nice watercolour background maybe. You know, thinking, thinking. So um, that's going to be a fun one. That's a celebration stamp set as well. As is this one, which is great for sentiments. You've got this. Um, there are so many ways you might feel right now. Alone shouldn't be one of them. That's quite nice. Hope today is one of the easier ones. Some days are harder than others. Hope today is one of the easier ones. You've got this. Courage is really being is being really scared and doing it anyway. I like that. I love that sentiment. Ah, oh, thank you, Anita. I'm so pleased you're learning loads. I do try. I do try and keep it very informative. Um, and yeah, so this will be the fifth one, I think, that I'm running. So fifth one starting in February. Um, really, really excited to kind of get the new stamp sets in play and uh, yeah, make it a good and make it another good course. So what have I got? This is celebration paper. Isn't that stunning? This is going to be making make a really nice scrapbook page, I think. A nice framed piece. Even back, even the background for a sampler, that might be good for. You could cut all these gorgeous, dainty flowers out. I'd take that to work and do a bit of fussy cutting. This one would be really good just for card fronts with a nice sentiment on. Make it really, really simple. Or you've got that on the background again. I think that is gorgeous that design lots of delicate florals you know i like my florals tough luck if you're a man in my life don't do many men cards um they all get floral cards now i do try but like everybody i struggle this is um so you can kind of cut these up and use these as individual um like wreaths and then add to them so i'm really looking forward to getting into this paper and look, but that is also gorgeous that side that's why isn't it that's better though. really beautiful some nice greenery oh and that is stunning and then that paired with some of that gorgeous shimmer paper hey louise You've joined us just for me bringing back in the shimmer paper. I can definitely see me needing a few packs of that. That's quite pretty. Delicate. But that is beautiful. I love that background. <coughs> so yeah, this is a celebration pack as well. So I think that's a really nice pack of papers and it coordinates with their dainty flowers. So it's nice to have something in celebration that coordinates with the main catalogue so that you can order the stamps and dies and then get the papers for free. So that's lovely. And then we had a bit of a standing joke on stage about the uh, day at the farm. There's a stamp set, I can't show you the inside of the catalogue yet, but there's a stamp set and dies that um, coordinate with this paper. I mean, if you've got kids in your life, this is perfect. I don't have any young kids in my life, um, so it's an interesting choice. Oh, the ink refills to make some gorgeous backgrounds, Mary. Absolutely. Yeah, with embossing powders, embossing pastes and everything as well. So, um, yeah, loads of stuff you can do. I really quite like this one, I'm not going to lie. I think that's quite fun. Not... Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one. So I'm probably, I'll probably use that side. And I might even try and cut out some of the animals. I don't know. I mean, I'm not 100% sold. You know, we've all got different tastes. But I bought, I got it. It, it. I think this was a celebration one again. So um, I had some celebration items to choose. I mean, that's quite fun. At least you, is this your style, Anita, is it? You love these. Yeah, again, we're all different. Um, but, I mean, it's it's lovely. I'm just not sure quite what I'm going to do with it. 
Um, this would make a lovely um, scrapbook page if you went to the farm with anybody, with the kids, and you had some pictures of them. You know, that would make a lovely scrapbook page. Plenty of farmers. Plenty of farmers around you. Yes, absolutely, Mary. I love that. I could see loads of loads of purposes for that one. So it met you exactly, Louise. It is a make you smile kind of paper, this one. And this one to send to somebody who doesn't like fruit and vegetables. That would make a good joke card. Quite like that idea. But it's a really nice, really nice pattern. And then you've got the yellow on the back as well. So don't discount it as a celebration item if you um if you've got celebration goodies to get. I like that one. It would make quite a cute village card. You're absolutely right. So I even got oops, I even got two packs of the dainty paper because I really thought that was lovely. And then I haven't got much more actually. This is about this is about the last thing I've got to show you. This this is a super pack of paper. Um all sorts of different designs. It's 70 is that one. But these are really, really good. And I can be using some of these in classes for sure. So if you want a huge stack of papers, this is the one to get. I love that. Yeah, really, really nice. So that is about it. I didn't go mad, mad, mad. Um, there was more I could have got. I'll show you these new ones to me as well. This is the brush shape size. But there's loads more pretty stuff that I want out of the new catalogue. And um, I've just found out what my what will be in my first box from the artisan design team. And I'm super chuffed because it was some of the stuff that was already on my wish list um, that I get to create with. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in with all of that when it arrives. And um, I've been told I can do an unboxing. So I'll pop on and do an unboxing as well. But I thought this was really cute. Um, just some textured kind of background um, shapes in that one. These were when I, when they were all 20% off. Ah, oh, those are on your wish list, are they? Yeah, they've been online for a while. And I just think, you can't, again, I can't afford everything. Um, but now they were 20% off, I, I picked them up. And these as well, because I don't actually have any uh, pen, hexagons. I don't have any he hexagons, so they're quite cool. I see lots of people using them and thought, right, I treat myself. And then this is the delicate edges dies as well. So pretty. And I thought this would work really well with that um, Seaside Bay stamp set. I can see I can see those working together. So I thought I would jump in and get those. And again, this one makes some lovely little background elements. I know I'm looking forward to it arriving in I'm so excited. Cannot wait. Okay, I think I think that's everything. So we've got about half an hour. Um let's see what we can do to recreate this, shall we? Um, it was using weight, basic white cards, so I'm going to stick to the same. Um, you could use a coloured card stock for sure. And it measures... I'm going to go for 14.5. No, I'm not. I'm going to stick to the same measurements. 14.9. By a whole width of the thick A4 card. And I'm going to need two pieces of this. Um, the first thing we're going to do uh, is fold it in half. Now I could use the um, trimmer to fold it in half. The other way you can do it is just to be brave and fold it in half like this. And then you want to fold it back on itself you see what I'm doing? So I've folded it in half and now I'm going to fold it back on itself. I'm not normally brave. I normally like to measure, score and do it, what I say, properly. 
but it's not an easy measurement to to do. I would normally make it, I would cut the card stop down. And so you want to fold one one way, and you want to fold one the other way. So turn it into like a concertina. Gorgeous new papers. And then just use your bone folder to crease that up. So you end up with this kind of concertina card. I wonder whether you need to be zoomed out just a little bit. Oops. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is stick some um, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the other piece first as well. So I need another piece of thick basic white. Everything's kind of out and about at the moment, all over the floor because I've got um, cup and card tomorrow. So I'm kind of packed for it, but it's just not kind of actually packed yet. And then this measures 10.5 times the length of A4. So you get two of these out of one. So three, three pieces of cardstock will make two of these cards, basically. And then I'm gonna fold it in half. And then I'm gonna to have to do some measuring. So, fold it in half to begin with. But then I need to fold each of these three pieces, each of these pieces into three. So I'm gonna to have to actually measure it. So it's 14.8. This is where my calculator comes in handy. 14.8 divided by 3 is 4.9, basically. So then I need to score it at 4.9. And 9.8 and a half. So about there. So 4.9 and 9.8 uh, 9 and a half. So you've scored that into six, basically. And then we're going to concertina fold it again, like this. And it doesn't, I don't think it matters if it's exact. Mine's not, if you can see this. Not exact, but it's it's as near as. So that's going to fold concertina and open like that. And this one is concertinas and just opens like this. And then we're going to stick some papers on, and that's the bit we've got to decide. And that's the hard bit when you get new papers. Just trying to decide what papers you want. But I thought this was really pretty. And I thought this dark blue as well. Um, I might need two pieces. So let's grab a full sheet of that one. And then I'm thinking that one, but I don't know if it's too dark. Oh, but it's so pretty. I think I'm gonna go for those two. And actually, can you see on one of them, a lot of it is cut out, or well, you can't, a lot of it's um, covered up on both, so I think that will be okay. So this is going to be, and I might do a blog post on this, I'm going to do this 7 centimetres by 14.5, because you want all the measurements I do. So 7, let's cut it to 14.5 to begin with. by seven, and by seven again. Oh, they are gorgeous papers. Did you miss them, Eloise? Anybody else might have missed them as well. I love, look at the, look at the pearlescent on that. 
gorgeous, gorgeous. So yes, this is the stamp camp. So if you really love this and you buy the suite from me, you get entered into the stamp camp automatically. All your make and take sent out to you for free, all your PDFs, um, all your videos, um, bonus projects, you Facebook lives, or you get all sorts. Um, I love that one. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, no worries. And then you've got the other sides. So, yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. So you've got two sheets of that. And so we're going to cut this to so figure out which way up you want it. I want it up that way. It's like rainbow. Stunning. So I'm going to cut it to 14 that way. Or did I say 14.5? Don't tell me I've cut them too short. No, that's fine. 14.5 that way. And then seven and seven. And then hopefully this will fit. I'll be I'll be upset if it doesn't fit. Right, that's beautiful. Mermaid. Yeah, mermaid. Oh, that's stunning. Oh, all sorts of all sorts of options. Um, and then stick this down. Um, so I'm going to go those two there and those two there. Yeah, always feel free to give me a shout um, offline. That's absolutely fine. And we can chat it through. So I'm going to put those two like that. Now, with foiled papers, you need to be quite careful sometimes if you're going to use um, a wet glue. I think these will be OK. But if it was all foiled more than that, you want to use a tape runner because your wet glue can alter the foil. Um, so I might actually just grab my tape runner just to be on the safe side. This is the stamping seal, so. Oh, what has to go the other way? It's good like that, isn't it? Or is it like that? Is that what you mean? Uh, scales. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. I quite like it the other way as well. I didn't notice, but I can certainly, certainly switch it round to make it scaly. Oops. Oh, this is one that I broke. Yeah. I tried to fix it, but I failed. Let me grab the other one. I tried to fix it with super glue, but it didn't work. I also love this cute crab design on the back. I think that's really pretty. Um, so I'm going that way up. Swishing of the ocean. The only problem is with this tape to get it right first time. Right, there we go, that looks better. So, so we stick all our paper on and then we've got some cutting to do. Which seems a bit brutal, but sometimes needs must. Uh, so scales that way, I'm saying, aren't we? All right. No, I can't remember which way we said. Oh, that way and that way. I'm sure that's right. The thing about having had COVID is I can just blame everything on COVID brain now. I think that's a valid excuse. Yeah, that's it, Mary. Art Deco, I think that's a kind of, um, I think that's what I had in my head rather than scales. That one, and then this one. As long as you keep the same design, I don't think it matters. But you don't want one up one way and one up the other way. That would just look wrong. Okay, so swishy, swishy up that way. Right, there we go. Have I got it the right way up? Is that right, Eloise? I think it is. Okay, so now we're going to do some cutting. So I'm going to bring back in my trimmer. Now this is a bit, this is a bit difficult, this one, 
Um, so I'm just going to try and take my time with it. And I need to cut two holes. And they need to be 10.8. So how far from the ends? That's what we need to know. Two. And two. And 1.9. One point nine, roughly. So I'm going to put this at the two mark. So I've lined it up on my trimmer at two, and then I'm going to bring my blade in here. Now I really probably ought to measure it and draw a little pencil mark. I'm not very good at that kind of thing. Um, so I'm just going to kind of guess well i don't know if i'd recommend you just guess um but you know we'll craft in different ways and then i'm going to measure this i'm going to line this up at 1.9 roughly i mean i should probably have figured out how i was going to do this and then bring that down and then line that up at 1.9 and bring that down and then line this up at 2 again And then you can just pop this little panel out. And then anywhere that you kind of haven't met, anywhere that you haven't met, you can just trim, snip with your snips down like that. And you end up with that little hole in the middle. Now, all I need to do is check to see if that's roughly the same size hole as what I've got here. And it looks... Yeah, it looks roughly the same. Maybe, maybe a bit bigger, but I think that's going to be enough. So I just need to do the same on this side. So I'm just going to do this side first, line it up at two, and then poke my trimmer in about there and drag it down, and then measuring it at 1.9, roughly there. And this side as well. 1.9 is about there. And then just trim that off with your snips if it won't come off. Might just trim a little fraction more off that one just to make them line up a little bit. Just gonna go there. There we go. So now we've got our panels and our bit here. So kind of feeling like I should have practiced this, but I think it's going to work. So the idea being then that when we put this in here, this will all fold up neatly and we've got this lovely centre panel. Foldy card. Looks good. I think it's working. I'm amazed. Um, okay, so um, we've got some papers to choose. Now I've got the this kind of seam one. It's a nice fun fold, this one. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and I'm going to cut these to 4.6 by 10.1, I think. 
4.6 by 10.1. So I definitely want two of these. And I want the 10.1 that way. So I'm just looking to see, is that the right proportion of kind of C versus uh, land versus sky? I'm just going to go 10.5 and then trim it round at 10.1 on that side. So I've got a bit more sky. And what did I say? By 4.6. 1, 2, 2. So they're quite um, quite slim little panels. But I'm going to have a bit of a scene going on. It's just whether I want the scene going all the way through. I might go there and there and there and there. And then have these two in the middle different because then we can have a bit more of a scene going across, maybe. Let's see what other papers I've got. Um, kind of want something, almost wondering whether that crumb cake, no, because it's got the same design, but something a bit different about that one. With the muscles. Kind of goes with the blue or the fish. No, I don't want the fish. Sorry, fishies. Rejected. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Um, I could go gold. I what that would look like in the middle. Kind of tie it all together, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's a possibility. Let's go for it. And then I'll have another scene on the right hand side. So I need one more of those. Um, which one was it? Oh, it's the back of that one. Oh, I like that one though. Well, I only need one. So if I do this carefully, I can do that to 4.6. And then I can use the first bit of this bit because that looks similar. So let's cut that to 4.6. And then I just need to make sure it lines up. So I'm just going to do that. And trim that there. And then turn that to 10.1. I know, poor little fishies. Rejected. So that's going to go there and that's going to go there. And then this is going to be 10.1. Um, by 4.6, 8 point, 9.2, so come down to 9.2, and then you're getting my totally ad hoc make it up as we go along style of crafting today, and another one at 4.6. I knew I was good at maths for a reason. So that's going to go there like that, that's going to go there, there like that, and they're going to go there like that. And we're going to create that kind of scene going across just with a little bit of a break in the middle. Um, I'm going to stick to I'm going to stick to the my snail. Do you know, somebody asked me, oh, it was you, Louise, wasn't it? I saw, Louise just got herself a Take Your Pick tool, uh, which is the lovely tool for um, grabbing the embellishments with the little piece of rubber on the end. And it comes with a spatula. And um, I was asked, what would you use the spatula for? 
And I said, you know what, I, I was just stack that one upside down. Look, I'm going to have to show you what I use the spatula for. This is what I, this is what I use this spatula for. When you've stuck something on the wrong way out, if you just breathe on it to loosen the glue, and then you slide the spatula under, So you just melt the glue with your breath, slide the spatula under, and you can take it off. So you've got to just be gentle and careful. Biggest mistake I see people make when they stick something on upside down is they panic and try and take it off way too fast. Just gently, gently, that comes off, and there you go. I'm, oh, Mary, I'm always sticking things on upside down. Um, it's a very handy tool. And so, Louise, you've just had a first-hand demonstration in how to use the spatula. So it's always sticky, but, yeah, that's what I use it for. And it just sits in like that. Really good tool. Love it. And then we'll stick these ones on. And I'm glad I used, I might have actually, Tombo, you do get a little bit of wiggle room with. Um, I think that's going to go on that way. Yeah, that's going to go on that way. With the wet glue, you get a little bit of wiggle room. So if you grab it quickly enough, you can take it off, but it still dries insanely quickly. And once it's dried, it's um, stuck on. Kind of a lot more fast it will still work with this so just breathe on it and spatula it off it is it's worth it's worth it for that alone oh i'm glad you like it anita it's one of the i think it's one of the best tools around love it yeah that gets a lot of use in, in my craft room And then these two, so that's going to go there, and then the blue and the blue will just kind of marry up, and then that one can go there as well. I'm going to overrun for I'm a celebrity. I might just have to kind of put the basics together and then sh show you the finished version. Is that, is that bad of me to abandon you all for I'm a celebrity? My nose is running. It's so cold here. We've not got any heating still. Oh, it's been about six weeks now. Might even be seven. We're up, coming up to the end of our seventh week. Oh, it's just ridiculous. It's about 11 degrees in here. Not at all. I watch away. Bless you. You're so kind. Right, so then that feeds through there. Quite like this. And then you get that like that. So now you just have to figure out where you want to put them. And then you just glue down each side. So I'm going to use this again. Just I think it is a bit safer. I might be able to get it off if it goes wrong. But it is onto designer series paper. So it's going to be a bit of a struggle. And then I'm just going to stick that. I'm trying to stick it as centrally as possible. So lining up here, your top and your bottom in that gap. Make it as straight as possible and then move it along so that you've got it. It's not a great deal of contrast between that paper and that paper, but I'm going to go for it about there. You've been watching that, bless you. Uh, you're on catch up. Yes, uh, the, the, one benefit of being poorly was that I catched up, I caught up with uh, I'm a celebrity. Um, from being away in Vienna because obviously it started before we went away. That was the only benefit of being poorly. Just sat in bed, I couldn't do anything. Uh watch the TV, bless you. And then I'll um so I will, I'll make this up and then I'll um show you all afterwards what I've come up with as the design. So that goes on there like that, and then that folds, 
and it closes like that. So it might just need a little bit of assistance. Oh no, look, it's just caught on the back there. So just uncatch it and then it will close. There we go. And that is your fun fold. And then what I've got to decorate it with, I've got this little sandpiper that I've cut out and stuck. Um, he can go there. I've got this little shell. I've got some grasses, another cute little sandpiper. He can go there, look. And then I'm just gonna, I shall have fun doing that later. Some seashells. Come on, all my little bits, all my little bits are here. So I've cut all these out earlier. Ah, it's absolutely my pleasure. Look at this little crab as well. So he might he might make his way on. My absolute pleasure. I've I love doing these Thursday night lives, and I wouldn't be able to do them if you guys didn't come and watch. So I'm totally appreciative. And um, I should be back next Thursday. I think. I think I'm going to be here for another week. Uh, let me just double check my diary. Make sure I'm not telling you, giving you false promises. No, I should be here next Thursday, next Thursday evening. Um, I don't know what we'll have, but I will make something up and um, give you a good demonstration, I hope. Ah, uh, thanks, Anne-Marie. It was totally inspired by Jill's card. Although, Jill, I did notice that um, the bicycles are upside down. <laughs> so easy to do. That's the way up the card goes, and the bike bikes are upside down. But um, it took me ages to realise that. So, um, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous fun fold. I shall decorate mine up, but that's the, the basic of it. And it just folds down like that. That'll go in a normal A6 envelope. So really, really nice little card. Uh, a bit special. Ah, uh, thanks, guys. Thanks, Louise. I shall go and enjoy. I'm a celebrity, as will probably a lot of you, to be honest. So um, enjoy it. Have fun. I shall see you next Thursday. And I'll be posting this on my social media once I've made it all up. Um, thank you. Honestly, thank you so much for joining me. I really wouldn't be able to do these lives without you. So um, massively appreciate you spending your evening with me. Uh, look after yourselves. Stay safe. Stay warm. Um, and I shall see you all again really soon. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye for now. Bye bye.